Yeah, I think it's obvious that smartphones are everywhere and can do a lot of things. And even a few that they probably shouldn't. Like trying to perform a do-it-yourself colonoscopy with your smartphone. Hey, take it from me, it won't work. There are much safer ways to snoop on your colon health. Meanwhile, to keep you surfing on the web in safety, I've collected a list of other things you should never do with your phone, laptop, or other devices. Number 1. Using cheap chargers. If you lose or damage your device's charger, you might not want to shell out the full amount for a replacement. Finding a less expensive alternative might seem like a smart move, but do some research before you buy. There are plenty of quality third-party chargers available for a reasonable price. And just as many cheap knockoffs that can and will damage your battery. Keep an extra eye out for counterfeit chargers, if you have an extra eye to spare. These are often poorly made and can fry your phone if you aren't careful. In rare cases, people have been injured when their knockoff chargers caused a short circuit. Number 2. Ignoring updates Updates include things like bug fixes, security upgrades, and improvements to the user interface. They play an essential role in making sure your device still runs like new. If you're having performance, stability, or compatibility problems with your apps or devices, make sure you're using the latest version of all your software. Ignoring security updates can also make you vulnerable to hackers. When your device says it's time for an update, you might want to take its word for it. Number 3. Leaving Bluetooth and Wi-Fi on If you use these features often, you probably leave them turned on all the time. But not only are you wasting power, you're also exposing your device to added security risks. Think of these connections like doors leading to your data. The more you leave open, the easier it is for thieves to break in. Bluetooth is extra dangerous because it relies on low-power radio waves, which are easier to intercept and tamper with than other types of wireless signals. 4. Using public Wi-Fi The best things in life are free, or so the old saying goes. Whoever coined that phrase probably didn't have Wi-Fi in mind when they came up with it. Free Wi-Fi is dangerous for the simple reason that anyone can access it. And anyone includes cyber criminals trying to steal your identity or sell your data. Many public Wi-Fi networks are unencrypted, meaning that hackers can easily eavesdrop on what you're doing. That includes sensitive data like passwords, emails, and bank account information. Some hackers have also been known to impersonate legitimate Wi-Fi networks to steal your information. Bad, bad. Number 5. Leaving your phone unlocked. If someone else gets access to your phone, they have complete access to your contacts, photos, text messages, and call history. They can also get their hands on dangerous intel, like your saved passwords. Leaving your phone unlocked is like leaving your doors unlocked when you go out. You better keep it secured, unless you want someone to walk off with all of your electronic furniture. Number 6. Eating or drinking near your laptop Multitasking is pretty much mandatory in modern life, but lunch and laptops don't mix. If you get crumbs in your keyboard, it's extremely hard to get them out. Drinks are even worse. Spill something on your keyboard, and you're in big trouble. If you're lucky, it will only make the keys sticky and unresponsive. If you're not, the moisture might get into something important and turn your expensive computer into a useless lump of plastic. Number 7. Keeping your phone in your back pocket Phones don't do well under pressure, and I mean that literally. They weren't designed to be sat on, something that's bound to happen if you keep your device tucked into your back pocket. Sitting on or putting any other kind of weight on your phone is a great way to damage it, and that goes double for the screen. Even if you never see any cracks, sitting on the display can still damage it internally. This can cause blurry images or even blank spots to appear on the screen. So make sure there's no buts about it. Number 8. Leaving disks in your laptop Now, I probably only use my laptop's disk drive one or three times a year. But it's still nice to have. If you suddenly become the owner of some disk-based media, just make sure you don't leave it in your laptop when you're carrying it around. This can lead to the disk falling out of its tray and getting jammed in the disk drive, damaging both the disk and the computer itself. For the same reason, 
you should also avoid tilting your laptop while the disc is spinning. Number 9. Letting your phone overheat When you exercise, your body heats from all the calories you're burning. Okay, that's not exactly true, but your body does heat up when you exert yourself. Your phone is the same way, and it can't cool down with a glass of water. It isn't likely to melt in your hands, but high temperatures can be damaging to the internal components. The battery is especially vulnerable, and high temperatures can permanently decrease its ability to hold a charge. If you ever notice your phone is getting too hot, dunk it in some water. Ah, you were listening after all. No, water and phones don't mix. To cool the thing down, turn it off for a few minutes and let it, you know, chill. You'll thank yourself when you aren't having to replace the battery every few months. Number 10. Leaving your laptop in your car Have you ever left a chocolate bar in your car and all that was left was some warm brown goo? Believe it or not, the same thing can happen to your laptop if you leave it in a hot car. It might not liquefy, but on a summer day, your car can get more than hot enough to melt plastic and damage the internal components. Leaving it in the snow isn't good either. The liquid crystals in your laptop's LCD screen will freeze at temperatures below 0 degrees Fahrenheit. This can permanently damage your screen. Number 11. Using your phone when it's charging Imagine you're watching a fantastic video by Brightside. Eh, that shouldn't be hard to do. Right as the narrator's about to reveal the secret of eternal happiness, your screen goes black. Not wanting to miss a second of quality content, you plug your phone in and continue watching. We've all done this, but it might not be the best idea. For starters, most of the power goes to the screen and CPU instead of being stored in the battery, meaning it will take longer to charge to 100%. This also generates a lot more heat than normal, which can damage your phone's battery. Number 12. Never turning it off Phones and laptops need breaks too, and just because we call it sleep mode doesn't mean it's resting. Apple recommends turning your device all the way off at least once a week, and Android manufacturers give similar warnings. Shutting it down every night when you go to sleep reduces wear and tear on the battery and increases performance by resetting your background apps. Number 13. Putting your laptop on your bed Laptops give you all the functions of a desktop computer wherever and whenever you need it. But if that wherever includes your bed, you might be damaging your computer. Computers stay cool by letting air move through them. Most laptops have their air intakes on the bottom. So resting your laptop on a soft surface like a pillow or blanket restricts the airflow, making it heat up faster. It also turns your laptop into a vacuum cleaner, pulling in all the lint, dust, and loose fibers these surfaces collect. All that gunk can clog the vents and fan. If the fan gets jammed, it can burn out and will need to be replaced. Number 14. Using counterfeit SD cards SD cards are a great way to expand your phone or laptop storage capacity. They're also a handy way to back up your data in case anything goes wrong with your device. Just make sure you're getting them from a trustworthy source. Counterfeit SD cards are everywhere and can cause all sorts of problems. Most are poorly made and rarely store as much as promised. People have also experienced slowing down, crashes, and lost data from using counterfeit cards. Number 15. Installing apps from unknown sources You wouldn't just let any random stranger into your house and the same applies to phones, tablets, and PCs. Third-party downloads can be crawling with malware and other viruses, which you obviously don't want to have slithering around on your device. Also, keep an eye out for paid apps that are free on third-party websites, as these apps are probably pirated copies. In addition to the legal reasons you should stay away, pirated apps won't always work correctly. Also, the app's original creator may still be able to lock you out of certain features. So, a word to the wise, don't do these. Nuff said. Hey, if you learned something new today, then give the video a like and share it with a friend. And here are some other cool videos I think you'll enjoy. Just click to the left or right. And remember, stay on the bright side of life. Bright side of life.